Hello guys, it's me again, your tutor. Remember in the last video we did some revision on what you did in Maths 1. So we explain uh, the trigonometric functions and all the derivatives. And today we're going to focus now on real stuff. Okay, good, good one. So as you can see, it's still Maths 2, the tutor. So today we explain uh, hyperbolic functions inverse hyperbolic functions and inverse trigonometric functions okay now let's start with inverse trigonometric functions okay an inverse trigonometric functions we have what we call arc sine of f of x. In some other books, it's written arc sine of f of x. So don't be scared when you see this. It's the same thing as this one, okay? But it's better for you to use this one. So what is the derivative of arc sine of f of x? First, you derive this f of x, okay? You derive it over square root of 1 minus f of x squared. Okay, guys. Other than arc sine, we have cos. Arc cos of f of x. With cos, you start with a negative sign. Then you derive f of x over 1 minus f of x and you square it okay guys apart from arc cos and uh, arc sine we also have arc tan okay arc tan of f of x okay so in with this one here you derive f of x then over 1 plus f of x squared okay guys you see these formulas that i just gave you now uh arc cos uh arc sine and arc ten they're already on your formula sheet but there are some other formulas that you won't find on the formula sheet for instance we have arc cot of f of x to do this you have you <clears throat> you have also to know that cot is the inverse of ten okay so if you want to inverse this, you want to keep this 10. It's going to give you 10 arc 10 of uh, uh, you open the brackets, then you inverse the function 1 over f of x. Then already you know the derivative of arc 10 is this one here that you see. So here, if you want to uh, derive this, you're going to Take this function there, 1 over f of x, you derive, okay? Then over 1 plus 1 over f of x squared. Okay, guys. Uh, we also have arc sec of f of x. Remember, arc sec is the inverse of what? Of course, okay? Second is the inverse of course. That's what you did in Met 1. Alright. So if you want to inverse this, it's going to give you first. Before deriving, you changed it first to cos. Okay. Cos minus 1. Okay. And you open the brackets. You inverse now the function. Okay. Then you know. I gave you already the formula of arc cos uh, of f of x. Let me just record it. You take the minus first, then f prime of x, which is a uh, derivative of f of x, then over 1 minus f of x squared. But here with sec, you have to, to detect this, all this as a function. So this one here is going to give you, you derive everything here this all function 1 over f of x okay 
you derive this the same thing as we did uh, with cots over square root of 1 minus 1 over f of x squared done ok guys now let's talk about arc cosec this is the last one eh? don't be tired of f of x you know that the inverse of cosec is what is sine alright so this will change to sine minus 1 you don't derive you change it first because I told you that these formulas you won't see them for arc cos ok so before doing this before deriving this first I insist first you change this to sine because sine is the inverse of cosec then you inverse now the function 1 over f of x right I gave you the formula already of arc sine but here you use 1 over f of x so if you wanna derive this uh, arc cos cosec of f of x it's going to give you uh, let's derive this if you derive this knowing that you've already changed this okay this to sign is going to give you 1 over f of x okay you derive it then over square root of 1 minus 1 over f of x squared done okay so guys now you see I've given you all the formulas now we can try to illustrate everything uh, by some examples right okay guys let's take an example from your tutorial you refer to your tutorial uh, one okay this is just an example eh? to illustrate all these formulas that we've just seen now okay for instance let's take the first example which 1. is uh, 1.1 which is a uh, uh, cosec minus 1 of what of sec x cubic all right as i told you cosec arc cosec you won't find it on in the what formula sheets so you need to change this to sine why because uh, uh, sine is the inverse of this cosec and if you want to change this it's going to give you <coughs> sine minus 1 as we said you inverse the function 1 over sec of x cubic okay we are not done yet here okay you can also see that 1 over sec is what is the inverse of cos so this can also be written as arc sine of what of cos x cubic then you can derive this easily using the uh, the formulas then sine minus 1 of cos of x cubic when you are derive this first of all you derive the function which is a cos x cubic you derive okay over square root of 1 minus cos squared all right of x cubic some people they they, they forget when they say square, the function square, this is a trigonometric function. Don't put the square there. The square is for cos squared. Someone can come and say, ah, this is going to be x to the power 6. No, this will keep it as it is. The only one that is square is the cos here, squared. All right. Then, after this, derivative of this, of course, we've, we've explained it. You derive first this, it's going to give you. Uh, minus because when we have cos we start with a minus okay x squared 3x squared okay then this change to sine of what 3 a uh, of uh, x cubic we keep the function then over as you can see here <coughs> square root of 1 minus cos squared in the identities cos squared plus sine squared is equal to 1 guys now I'm going to write it in with the red color, okay, so that you guys don't forget this. Remember, 1 minus cos squared of uh, x cubic. In the identities, we know that cos squared of x plus sine squared of x is equal to what? To 1. Now, this one here, if we take sine squared of x, 
and we take the cos squared, we put it the other side, it's going to be 1 minus cos squared of x. And you can see that 1 minus cos squared is equal to what? To sine squared of x. Then all of this here will change to square root of sine squared of x cubic. Alright. Then, let me just erase here quickly. Okay. So we have this here. This uh, we still going to keep it. Minus 3x squared sine of x cubic over then this we have to, to take it out of the square root is going to be sine of x cubic then you simplify you simplify and your answer here is minus 3x squared you see how easy it is okay guys still from your tutorial questions one okay so let's take 1.2 now which is sec arc sec sorry of what? 3 over x squared. Same thing that uh, I've explained already. You change this sec to what? To cos. Because cos is the inverse of sec. So this is going to give you cos minus 1. And you inverse the function. Which is x squared over 3. And you use the formula. This if you want to derive this. Okay. It's going to give you what? You derive the function which is x squared over 3, okay? Over, don't forget the minus, okay? Because for cos, there is a, still a minus in front here, okay? When you want to derive. Then over 1 minus, uh, uh, square root of 1 minus uh, x squared over 3, and you square the function. And this, you can derive it, you see that you have minus the, and here it's going to give you the 2 comes down, 2 over th with the 3 there. Then x, yeah, over square root of 1 minus what? And this, you square this. When you have the power here, and there's also another power, you just multiply the two power, and it's going to give you 4 there. x to the 4, and the 3 also squared, which is 9. All right. Let me erase here quick. Sorry for my blackboard. My whiteboard actually. <laughs> so we still have the y over the x. We are differentiating. Okay. So here we can still keep the minus 2 over 3x over. Okay. Then here you can uh, find the common denominator. Here we have 9. The common denominator is 9. And you take 9 you multiply by 1, which is 9. Then minus x to the 4. Okay. We are calculating. Né? So this is now is simple algebra. You have to do simple algebra. We still keep the minus 2 over 3x over square root of 9 minus x to the 4. And you can see that 9 is under the square root. And we never need to take it out of the square root. It's going to give you 3. Okay. Then the three can cancel each other. All right. Then after that, what is remaining there? We have minus 2x, which is remaining, over the square root of what? 9 minus x to the 4. Done. Okay, guys. Still from your tutorial questions now. Nah? This is your the last example I'm going to give you now. So when you are given a cut of cosec of x. Cot is the inverse of 10. So you change this first to what? To 10. It's going to give you 10 minus 1. And you inverse the function which is 1 over cosec of x. And you can see that 1 over cosec is a sine of x. So this also can be written as 10 minus 1 of what? Of sine of x. Then this is the one that you're going to the differentiate okay so guys we are deriving this okay so using the formulas we're going to have what what will be our dy over the x is going to be you derive the function this all is the function some people forget okay i insist some people forget instead of taking all of this they take only the x you take everything here sine x 
because it's arctan of sine x. You take everything here. Then you derive the function which is sine x, okay? Over 1 plus sine squared of x, okay? What is the derivative of sine x? It's cos of x, okay? Over 1 plus sine squared of x. Done. You see how easy it is. Just one line and you're done.